Frasier Season 2 is evoking nostalgia by featuring some original characters, but I'm concerned that it may push the revival's genuine star player to the sidelines. Despite the contentious first season of Frasier, Paramount Plus has renewed Kelsey Grammer's therapist-turned-Harvard instructor. While he spent the entire first season of the new show reacquainting himself with Boston, the second season will have more sentimental elements. As a major fan of the Seattle series, I'm excited, especially because Frasier Season 2 is set to star some of Frasier's best old KCL co-workers. Dan Butler and Edward Hibbert will reprise their roles as Bulldog Briscoe and Gil Chesterton, respectively, while Harriet Sansom Harris will play B.B. Glazer. Meanwhile, Perry Gilpin's Roz Doyle will return in a recurring role following her debut in the Frasier Season 1 finale. I've written about the narrative implications of bringing back so many characters from the original show in the sophomore year particularly how it reduces Frazier's chances of reuniting with his former Cheers colleagues. Beyond that, I believe they pose a greater risk to the revival's real hero. Alan was the best part of the Frazier revival's first season. After main cast members David Hyde Pierce and Jane Leaves declined the opportunity to reprise their roles as Niles and Daphne, Grammer, who had spearheaded the revival for years, and his team were forced to change their approach for the Frazier revival. I'm still confused about this. While I'd want to see Pierce reprise his role as Niles, I'm glad the Paramount Plus show is trying something fresh. One of the most significant advantages of the latter is that the new Frasier brings a new ensemble around grammar. Nicholas Lindhurst is fantastic as Frasier's best buddy, Alan Cornwall. I understand that comparing the Frasier revival's current cast to its predecessor is unfair. Grammar had a special connection with the Seattle crew. Nonetheless, the new program does have a notable character. Nicholas Lindhurst is fantastic as Frasier's best buddy, Alan Cornwall. This should not surprise British comedy fans, as the actor is considered a legend in the United Kingdom. For viewers in the United States, it's a charming introduction to the mythology. Despite the fact that his character's mythology and relationship with Frasier are convoluted, he is still my favorite new character from the Frasier revival. I hope that more familiar faces do not mean less time for Alan. Admittedly, some of the character pairings in the new Frasier are still awkward. While Freddie and Eve are rumored to be the next Niles and Daphne, I'm still not convinced of their romance. Meanwhile, Olivia Finch may still appear out of place because she hasn't formed a special bond with Frasier aside from being his Harvard colleague. Nonetheless, Alan and Frasier are an instant success. I'm hopeful that the Paramount Plus show will give Lindhurst more to do in Season 2. His interaction with David in the Christmas-themed Frasier season, one finale could signal the beginnings of a collaboration. I'm scared that it won't happen with all of the guest stars in Frasier Season 2. There's already palpable interest around Bulldog, Gil, and BB, particularly among fans of the original series who were disappointed that season one didn't focus on them. Aside from Frasier's longtime KCL cohorts, Yvette Nicole Brown, Rachel Bloom, Patricia Heaton, and Amy Sedaris will make appearances in Frasier season two. This offers little opportunity for Lindhurst's Alan to shine. Alan actually needs a bigger role in Frasier season two. Regardless of the extended roster of guest stars, Frasier season two should prioritize providing Alan a larger role. As much as I'd like to see Frazier spend time with some of his old friends from Seattle and his time at Cheers, it's simply not a viable storytelling strategy for the revival. These characters are from his history, not his present. For Grammar's new show to continue, he must guarantee that the Paramount Plus series core group is properly developed so that viewers become invested in them in the same way they did in his previous ensemble. The authors should begin with Alan, who stood out in Season 1. Frazier Season 2 must expand on the character whether by delving deeper into his relationship with Frasier or introducing new storylines independent from his friend. Personally, I believe they should begin with the former because there are so many mysteries about their past, including why Grammar's character never spoke about his alleged best buddy until the Paramount Plus project. From there, they can reveal Alan's personal life.